Hello dear friends, hope you're all doing well. Welcome once again to our study of logical fallacies. In this video, we will be discussing about the red herring fallacy. What is a red herring fallacy? You see, red herring arguments present irrelevant information to distract attention from the main topic of discussion. Red herring arguments present irrelevant information alongside relevant information to mislead the topic of discussion. A red herring fallacy is an attempt to change the subject of discussion. This may be done intentionally or unintentionally. A red herring is often used in movies, television serials, and in investigative literature. For example, in a detective movie, a suspicious character may be introduced as a red herring to distract the attention of the audience from identifying the true culprit. Let us try to understand red herring fallacy with the help of few examples. Example 1. Employees said, Management must increase the salaries of employees. Then the management replied, We cannot increase your salaries, but we will give you other benefits. You see, in the above example, employees are demanding for an increase in their salaries, but the management is trying to divert their attention by saying, we will give you other benefits. Here, the management is using other benefits as a red herring to divert the attention of employees from demanding increase in their salaries. Let's consider one more example. Hope you're following me. Example 2. Person 1 said, It is morally wrong to cheat on your spouse. Then person 2 asked, But what is morality? Then person 1 replied, It is a code of conduct we'll follow. Then person 2 questioned, But who creates this code? Do you see in the above discussion how the subject of discussion is changed from cheating on your spouse to what is morality, who creates it? so on and so forth. You see, when person 1 said, it is morally wrong to cheat on your spouse, person 2 intelligently diverted the discussion by raising a question, what is morality? Then person 1 explained that morality is a code of conduct we all follow. Then person 2 continued the discussion by raising another question, who creates this code? So here, all these questions, what is morality? Who creates this code? These are all red herrings, because person 2 raised these questions to divert the discussion from its original subject, cheating on your spouse. So the original subject of discussion, cheating on your spouse, is changed to what is morality. And the original subject of discussion is completely lost. That's how red herrings are used, to derail the topic of discussion, to avoid answering difficult questions, and to escape from accountability. Okay, dear friends. Now it is time to summarize what we have learned so far. Red herring arguments. Change the subject of discussion. Distract audience attention from the main topic of discussion. Confuse the audience. Sometimes provoke emotions. And avoid unwanted questions. That's all dear friends what we have for this lecture. Let's meet in a different lecture with a different video. Till then, take care.